This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering the substance called lean. This is a term used to describe a recreational drug beverage, which is prepared by mixing prescription strength cough syrup containing codeine and promethazine with a soft drink. I'll go over the dangers, side effects, how it established itself in pop culture, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. Lean, also known as purple drink, scissor, or perp, is a recreational drink that commonly contains codeine cough syrup mixed with promethazine. The term lean refers to users' tendency of having difficulty of standing up straight. The beverage originated in Houston and is popular in hip hop culture, especially within the Southern United States. To create a drinkable mixture, the cough syrup is combined with soft drinks, especially fruit flavored drinks such as Sprite, Mountain Dew, or Fanta, and is typically served in a foam cup, most likely it being a double cup. Additionally, a hard candy, usually like a Jolly Rancher or something, may be added to the mixture to give a more sweeter flavor. Lean remained a local phenomenon in Houston for several decades, starting when the American rapper DJ Screw released several tunes mentioning the drink in his mixtapes, which were extremely popular in the Houston area. But it wasn't until the 1990s when the term purple drink became more mainstream, thus spreading the popularity of the drink to a whole new level. The physiological effects on lean on the user are to produce a mild euphoric side effects, which are accompanied by motor skill impairment, drowsiness, and a dissociative feeling from all other parts of the body. What does sipping do for you exactly? It makes me humble, it calms me down, you feel what I'm saying? It has me just mellow, numb to the world, I would like to say. Mm. It keeps me out of trouble, keep me from making quick decisions, it slows me down from moving too fast. Make me feel hella good. It also boosts creativity, which is why many rappers use it, claiming it helps them write songs and achieve better lyricism. Some rappers like Lil Wayne rely on it so heavily that Wayne frequently claims it is the biggest reason for his success. So whatever the hell was in my cup, the only reaction I did was got more popular, more successful, did a lot more things that I've ever done, picked up a guitar, learned how to play it, learned how to put on the auto tunes and stretch my voice, and became number one in the country with everything I've ever dropped. A lot of the time when you see rappers drinking lean, they'll be holding that iconic double cup. There are a few reasons for this. The first reason is status. When you see the double cup, you immediately assume that there's most likely some purple drink in that. Because of this, Fans think that it gives more validity or street cred to the person sipping on that purple drink. Regardless of whether or not you agree with that, it's still a huge reason why musicians like to flaunt their Doha cup and tote it around with them wherever they go. Yeah, lean is a real gateway drug to a lot of other bad shit because it's so fun, it tastes so good, it's so yeah. easy to get into, but then And I started drinking this just being cool. I wanted, like, it took me some time to get addicted to it, but mm -hmm. once I got hooked, I was hooked to that shit. And I didn't, I, have, I didn't realize that I was addicted to, like, years later and it's like i drink this shit every fucking day bro i can't mm -hmm. go without it but my big cousin rest in peace he had, he was drinking lean heavy and i just wanted to be like him i did i didn't even know if i was high at the time right yeah i don't even remember like feeling the high i just was doing it because my cousin did it. the second reason for the double cup is due to how expensive lean is some users claim to spend tens of thousands of dollars on lean per month i'm a drinker you know what i'm saying i don't see i drink like Know what I'm saying? Heavy? Heavy, like, um, like, heavy, like, probably spend like four or five thousand a week on lean. Four or five thousand on lean. Yeah, yeah. The double cup protects against unwanted waste of the drug because if one cup gets a hole in it or is damaged, there is a second cup in place to ensure that none of the precious perp gets lost. You know why I have a double cup? Because if I fing squeeze this too hard and break a hole in the cup, and I'm not wasting a hundred dollars. People do it for no reason. Yes, I'm sipping lean, I have my tonsils removed, and I don't give a f if you have a problem with what I do. There tends to be a lot of misinformation on what exactly lean is and what is in it. Like I stated earlier, the base for lean is typically referred to as a drink that contains both codeine and promethazine. To understand this further, let me explain what codeine and promethazine is. Codeine is an opiate and prodrug of morphine used mainly to treat pain and coughing. Originally discovered way back in 1832, codeine is found naturally in the sap of opium poppy. It's on the World Health Organization's essential drug list and is metabolized 
metabolized into morphine inside the body at a rate of 5% milligram per milligram. Alongside codeine, promethazine is popularly known as one of the active two ingredients in lean. It acts mainly as an antihistamine and anti-nausea agent. Promethazine is a generic medication and was first approved for medical use in the United States in 1951. Today, it is available in many countries under many brand names. In 2019, it was the 174th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 3 million prescriptions being given out. Currently, it is available by mouth in syrup or tablet forms or by injection into a muscle. Even though codeine and promethazine are separate drugs, it is only when they were combined that yields true lean. Interestingly enough, there aren't even any companies who make lean anymore. The last brand that did so went by the name Activist. This company made the only true scissor because the product was literally promethazine combined with codeine. In recent years, the product was taken off the market due to its popularity of its recreational use. Now that it's been discontinued, in order to make true lean, one must mix promethazine codeine themselves. Some people blame musicians like Justin Bieber and Soulja Boy for this band due to them constantly flaunting their usage of it and making it even more mainstream than it already was. Did Bieber get you into lean or did you get Bieber into lean? Um, yeah, I don't even know. I think he got, I don't even know how he got into it. How uh, was it sipping with him, though? That must have been fun. Man, that was legendary. That was legendary. <laughs> that was legendary for sure. But I was just like, damn, Bieber, you messed up activists. Like, right. I love you. So you're on board with that theory that he's the one who got it banned? I think so. Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's official so. now. A lot of people blame you and Justin Bieber for the reason that activists is no longer in on the show. They, they right. said that y'all made it mainstream. We did. My bad. To make matters worse, the withdrawal effects from lean can be horrific and intense. Some of these effects include profusively sweating, diarrhea, vomiting, and seizures to say the very least. Because you were addicted. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have it. If you don't have it, you gotta have it. Like codeine, like is a real drug. It's not nothing to play with. You okay. gotta have it. If you don't have it, hey bro, like you finna throw up. Don't do lean. Don't do lean. Please don't do lean, bro. That shit is liquid heroin. Don't do it. <laughs> A lot of people say that. I got sick as f bro. I I would get food. I'd be hungry. As f can't even eat it. Just weird, as f bro. Sweating all the time. And even though lean is thought to be an infusion of codeine and promethazine, some people still use the term to refer to getting high of verbitussin. Yeah. This is an over-the-counter cold medicine that contains dextromethorphan as the main ingredient and can produce similar effects while eliminating the need for a doctor's visit. Watch this video next to learn everything there is to know about DXM and what tripping on cough syrup really feels like. Dextromethorphan does draw a lot of similarities to true lean, but its feeling is still different altogether. I'm Lowkey Fish. Peace out.